Hey, hey, welcome to Live with Lynn. So if you're here, say hi. If you're watching the replay, be sure to type replay so I know you were here. I'm Lynn Huber, and I appreciate you being here today. So today I'm going to talk about the power of your on a, mind, on a mission mindset for success. So since we're coming up on the end of the year, I thought it would be good to talk about this idea of being on a mission, right? Many of us are working hard to finalize goals and end of year and end the year with a bang, right? I mean, you know, it's been a crazy year, so let's get something accomplished before this year is over, right? So if you're on my Avon team, you might be working hard to achieve a sales promotion before the end of the year. And whatever that you do in your life, you might also be looking to finalize some goals you know, for the end of the year in whatever you do, right? But even at the all the times throughout the year, this being on a mission idea, it can really make a difference in your life. So if you're an Avon representative or if you're in any kind of home business or any kind of business really, using this on a mission concept is what it takes to be hugely successful. Hi, Krima, good to see you. Thanks for being here. So it really comes down to how you live your life in general. You know, I bet, I'm sure you know people who are highly motivated and driven. I mean, it seems like no matter what they work on, whatever it is, whatever the task is in their job or their business or if they're doing something around the house, there's that sense of purpose and a mission to what they do, right? They want to do their very best. They have purpose and they have deliberateness behind their actions. They exude an attractive kind of confidence that draws you in. On the other hand, I bet you also know people who seem to be going through the motions, you know, and that too usually spreads to all areas of their life. They kind of just do the bare minimum at work and then when they get home, they just do enough to make it to the sofa so they can spend the rest of the evening watching TV. You know, a conversation with a person like this usually results in spending a lot of time and energy focusing on what's wrong with life, what, what sucks, right? A search, it's a search about things to complain about. That's not really a good place to be. I mean, and also, the bad news about this is that this second type of personality is so easy to fall into if you're not careful. Hi, Anitra. Good to see you. I mean, you can become passive and uninterested in life just by hanging around people who are that way. You know, if you're really not careful, it can quickly become a habit. But you know the good news? You get to choose, right? The good news is that the first type of personality, the on a mission personality, is just as easy to fall into. The only difference is you have to elevate yourself to that level. It doesn't just happen by default. But you always get to choose what direction you want to take. So making the choice to be a person who carries himself or herself with a sense of purpose or a mission is just as easy as choosing the opposite. The key is to find things that you can get charged up about. And it doesn't even have to be all that complex. Sometimes you can start really small. So if you find yourself laying on the couch when you know you should be doing something more productive, all you have to do is force yourself to stand up and pick up a task and get started. I mean, you might have to force yourself because you're, you're comfortable, you want to you lay around, you just don't want to do anything, right? Hi, Patty, good to see you. So yeah, sometimes you might have to force yourself, but stand up, pick a task, and get started. One exercise that works really well is you might want to test you might want to test for yourself that might work is set a 15 minute timer on your smartphone or you know with your your device whatever set a timer and then pick an activity like tidying up your office and then press the start button do your very best in that 15 minute window to make that office as tidy as possible if you have to you can tell yourself let me do that 15 minutes and I'll go back to the couch right but just do that do your very best in that 15 minute window. Think about nothing else and allow nothing to distract you from that task until you hear the buzzer at the end of 15 minutes. What you're likely gonna find that happens next is you're gonna have a feeling of momentum where you will want to continue to work on the office until your whole office is clean, until the whole task is complete, right? And then you'll pick something new to do and that next task seems far easier and more exciting to take on. And actually, this becomes a habit. This becomes a great habit if you do this, right? Before you know it, you can spend the whole day operating with this sort of mission mentality, and you can carry it over for weeks at a time. In fact, if you practice this enough, it just becomes part of who you are, and it can have a life-changing impact. 
So in that sense, maybe you can't fall into it, right? It's just a matter of doing it and then doing it again and then doing it again. And boy, before you know it, you won't even think about it. It will just be a normal part of who you are, right? So think about how you can develop that sense of mission in your life. Because then you'll have that sense of purpose that propels you forward and it prevents you from dipping into that rut where you're only going to end up frustrating yourself in the long run. You know, take each day as it comes and decide how you're going to handle it. Don't let the day handle you. You're in charge. You can achieve great things, but only if you believe that that's possible. So go forward with excitement, energy, and passion, and you'd be surprised at all the amazing results you're going to see. This new direction is going to lead you up to going after what you want and living your life on purpose. Seriously, it will. So, hey, now I'd love to hear from you. How about you? What kinds of things help you get moving and to be more of that on a mission type person? Please share your thoughts in the comments below. I would love to hear your story. Anitra says, I've been on a mission all week to get my kids' schoolwork done. Yeah, that's a mission. <laughs> this homeschooling and Half, half halfway or you know on again off again with your kids back to school and home that's crazy that's crazy and so you almost have to be on a mission to get that done right so thank you for sharing thank you all for being here i have prima and i have anitra and i have patty and i think that's it if you're here and you just haven't commented thank you i appreciate every one of you and if you're watching the replay i appreciate you too so thanks for being here i hope you have an amazing day and i will see you soon Bye bye